Good morning. This is the Global Stock Investor Show. Welcome, Global Investors. Uh, today, I'll be going over the global banking sector. This is part five. I'm going to give you guys five global banking companies. But before I jump into that, uh, pretty much uh, today is the day after Martin Luther King Day. Um, I'm, I'm at 1.34%. Uh, I'm up uh, $74. Uh, pretty much, um, these are my 70 uh, global companies uh, that my company holds. And pretty much my strategy, um, I'm pretty much, I'm a moderate in investor. I'm using my moderate investor class. So pretty much uh, what I do is um, each month I invest $1,000. And then with that $1,000, um, I break it up. 60% um, goes to stocks. 30% goes to index funds. 5% goes to bonds. And then another 5% goes to precious metals. So I'll show you guys like how, what I'm doing um, with the precious metals. Pretty much I'm buying silver, the 10-ounce uh, bars. I bought a five, five, my first uh, precious metal bar that I bought was a five ounce uh, bar of silver so this time I'm gonna push it up to 10 ounce 10 ounces of silver and then once I get a little uh, I'm gonna set up an account so to buy a, a bar of platinum which is around seven hundred eight hundred dollars and then a, a gold bar of a bar of gold which is probably like twelve thirteen hundred so that's just a little my strategy that I'm practicing now so pretty much I'm I'm 100% on um, stocks. So the begin uh, first of March I'll be continue I'll begin my portfolio, how I'll invest and how I'll grow it. So pretty much that's what I'm doing now is um, I'm using my moderate class, my moderate class investing. So my moderate class investing is 600 um, stocks, 60%. Index fund, which is um, 30%, and then bonds, 5%, and then precious metals, 5%. So breaking that down into uh, into dollars, pretty much I'm going to take, I'm going to invest $1,000 a month. So $600 out of that 1000 will go to stocks. 300 of that will go to index funds. $50 will go to bonds, and another $50 will go to precious metals. So let's jump into it. Uh, the first global banking company is Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Put that in. Commonwealth. I spelled that wrong. Okay, there it is. Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Okay, let's look at the five year. Uh, as you can see, um, let's see where it peaked at. It peaked um, about sixty-three dollars and forty-six cents. Uh, currently in a bear market. Market price fifty-one dollars and fifty-nine cents. Huh? It's unusual. Let me find the peak. Yeah, the peak uh, sixty-two. 6292 back in 2014. Yeah, so uh, about $62 is the peak. So currently in the bear market, market price $51.59. About Commonwealth Bank of Australia engages in the provision of banking and financial services. It operates through the following segments, retail banking services, business and private banking, institutional banking and markets, wealth management, New Zealand, Bank West, and international financial services and other. The retail banking services segment provides home loan, consumer finance, and retail deposit products and services to all retail bank customers and non-relationship managed small business customers. The business 
and private banking segment offers specialized banking services to relationship managed business and agra business customers private banking to high net worth individuals and margin lending and trading through comsec the institutional banking and market segment serves the firm's major corporate, institutional, and government clients using a relationship management model based on industry expertise and insights. The wealth management segment includes the global asset management, platform administration, and financial advice and life and general insurance businesses of the Australian operations. The New Zealand segment comprises of banking, funds management, and insurance businesses operating in New Zealand. The Bank West segment covers the lending diversified between the business, rural, housing, and personal markets, including a full range of deposit products. The International Financial Services and other segment incorporates the Asian retail and business banking operations. Associate investment in Chinese and Vietnam. Vietnamese. The life insurance operations in Indonesia and a financial services technology business in South Africa. This segment also includes corporate center with which includes support functions such as investor relations, group marketing and strategy, group governance, and group treasury. The company was founded in 1911 and is headquartered in Sydney, Australia. CMWAY is listed on the pink current market tier. OTC market data is provided by OTC Markets Group Incorporated, otcmarkets.com. The current CEO is Matthew Com Common. Employees 45,753. Headquarters Sydney, Australia. Founded in 1911. Been around. Market cap 93.23 billion. Dividend yield 5.94. Wow. So there you have it. That's the first global banking company. The second global banking company is BNY Mellon. Okay, just look at that. Let's look at the five year. Nice upward trend. Peaked around, say, about $56. Uh, Market price fifty two dollars and seventy one cents. About Bank of New York Mellon Corporation, also called BNY Mellon, is a bank holding company which engages in the provision of financial services. It operates through the following segments: investment management, investment services, and other. The investment management segment provides services to institutional and retail investors as well as investment management, wealth, and estate planning. The investment services segment includes institutional trust and custody fees, broker-dealer services, corporate trusts, depository receipts, and foreign exchange. The other segment consists of leasing portfolio, corporate treasury, derivatives, and insurance services. The company was founded by Alexander Hamilton on June 9th, 1784. Uh, I got to pause right there. That's 1784. Alexander Hamilton. That sounds like a president of the United States. But um, it's been around since 1784. Oh, and also Bank of New York Mellon Corporation is um, a primary dealer. Um, they do business with the Federal Bank of New York. So, I mean, wow. <laughs> I, that's the oldest company that I've seen so far, 1784. So, um, definitely, um, this is a a go getter right here. Like, if you really want to churn churn in some, wow. Um, okay. Uh, the current CEO. Oh, I didn't even finish it off. And is headquartered in New York City, New York. The current CEO is Charlie Scharf. Employees, 52,500. Headquarters, New York City, New York. Founded in 1784. Market cap, 50.58 billion. Dividend yield, 2.21. Buy 22%. Hold 61%. Those two together, more than 75%. 
The third global banking company is BB and T. And let's look at the five year. Beautiful upward trend. Um, say a peak about $54. Uh, current market price is $49.43. About BB&T Corp engages in the provision of banking and trust services through its subsidiaries. It operates through the following segment, community bank and retail, community banking, commercial, insurance holdings, and premium finance and financial services and commercial finance, other, treasury and corporate. The community banking retail segment offers a variety of loan and deposit products, payment services, bank card products, and other financial services. The community banking commercial segment includes commercial real estate lending, commercial and industrial lending, corporate banking, asset-based lending, dealer inventory financing, tax exempt financing, cash management and treasury services, and commercial deposit products. The insurance holdings and premium finance segment covers property and casualty, employee benefits and life insurance to businesses and individuals. The financial services and commercial finance segment consists of personal trust, administration, estate planning, investment counseling, wealth management, asset management, corporate retirement services, capital markets, and corporate banking services. Corporate trust services and specialty finance pro products to businesses. The other treasury and corporate segment comprises of the combination of other segment that represents operating ent entities. The company was founded by Al Alpheus Branch in 1872 and is headquartered in Win Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The current CEO is Kelly S. King, employees 36,484, headquarters Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Excuse me. Founded in 1872, been around. Market cap 37.62 billion. Dividend yield 3.50. Nice. Buy 44%. Hold 52%. Those two together more than 75%. So that's the third global banking company. The fourth global banking company is National Bank of Canada. Canada's, Canada has the best banks that I've seen. National Bank of Canada. Uh, this stock is per, it's not supported by Robinhood, but on other platforms you can purchase. But I pretty much, it's on my watch list because pretty much uh, I've noticed Robinhood Certain companies were not listed, and later they were. So, um, being that Robinhood's a f the newest uh, brokerage company on the scene, so for stocks, uh, five year, pretty much up, nice upward trend, peaked around about fifty dollars. Uh, current current market price is. $45.39. About National Bank of Canada engages in the provision of commercial banking and financial services. It operates through the following segments personal and commercial, wealth management, financial markets, U.S. specialty finance, and international USSFNI, and other. The personal and commercial segment involves in banking, financing, and investing services offered to individuals and businesses as well as insurance operations. The wealth management segment focuses on the investment solutions, trust, and lending services, and other wealth management solutions offered through internal and third-party distribution networks. The financial market segment includes banking and investment banking services, and financial solutions for large and mid-sized corporations, public sector organizations, and institutional in investors. 
the USSF and I segment comprises specialty finance expertise provided by subsidiary Credigy LTD activities of subsidiary ABA Bank, which offers financial products and services to individuals and businesses, and activities of target targeted investments in certain emerging markets. The other segment encompasses treasury activities such as asset and liability management, liquidity management, and funding operations, certain non-recurring -re items, and unallocated portion of corporate services. The company was founded on May 4th, 1859, and is headquartered in Montreal, Canada. Global Stock Investing, NTIOF, is listed on the pink current market tier. OTC market data is provided by OTC Markets Group, Incorporated, OTCMarkets.com. The current CEO is Louis Vachon. Employees, 23,450. Headquarters, Montreal, Quebec. Founded in 1859. Market cap, 15.37 billion. Dividend yield, 4.17. Can't go wrong with Canadian banks. Buy 15%, hold 77%, those two together, more than 75%. Last but not least is MB Financial. Let's go to MB Financial. Okay, let's look at the five year. Um, nice upward trend, peaked around $50. Current market price is $45.51. About MB Financial Incorporated, common stock, also called MB Financial, is a holding company which engages in the provision of commercial banking, leasing, retail banking, and wealth management services. Its commercial banking business offers credit, deposit, and treasury management products. The company operates through the following segments. Banking, leasing, and mortgage banking. The banking segment concentrates on serving small and middle market businesses and owners. The leasing segment includes lease origin originations and related services offered through its leasing subsidiaries, Lasali, Celtic, and MB Equipment Finance. The mortgage banking segment offers services residential mortgage loans for various investors and for loans owned by the company and makes bulk purchases of servicing rights. MB Financial was founded in 2001 and is headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. The current CEO is Mitchell S. Feger, employees 3,574, headquarters Chicago, Illinois, founded in 2001, market cap 3.76 billion, dividend yield 1.84. So there you have it. Those are the five global banking companies. And the total investment for these five global banking companies comes out to $245.62. And in conclusion, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, one share of Commonwealth Bank of Australia is $53.00. Eight cents dividend yield five point nine four BNY Mellon one share of BNY Mellon is fifty two dollars and sixty six cents dividend yield two point two one BB and T one share of BB and T is forty nine dollars and forty cents dividend yield three point five zero National Bank of Canada one share of National Bank of Canada is forty five dollars and eighty eight cents dividend yield four point seventeen MB Financial, one share of MB Financial is $44.60, dividend yield 1.84. Outro. Subscribe to the channel. Comment any questions or recommendations you have. Like if the content was inspiring for you. And share this information with other global stock investors. While you're slaying dragons, I'll be taming them. <laughs>